somewhat evenly matched from a statistical standpoint. Mm -hmm. what, what did you think about it? What did you I think it was it was a great game opener. You know, they came out, the other team came out and played hard. Their posts were running the floor. Their guards were open if they knocked it down. So I think it was a great opportunity to, for us to, to learn and um, just take it, take it what it was and, and move on and got to get ready for Monday. You're obviously one of the, the leaders of this, this team. What are you telling some of the, the younger players uh, you know, to expect, I mean, at a high level of basketball? As you, you know, I think basketball is basketball. You know, the ball goes in the hoop the same way. I, I think the most important thing is for them just to calm down, stay calm when they're in there, um, and do what they do. You know, they were recruited here for a reason, and, you know, we have faith in them just as much as they have faith in us. So when, when the ball goes up at the beginning of the game, it's, right, it's time to play and just do what you do. Now, did you take some order to the big sister role? I saw right, like right at the end when that kind of uh, young lady got kind of hooked, hooked a little bit and went down to the ground. Do you kind of uh, look? To, they kind of look to you as, as an enforcer or just a person to, to kind of. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean you think you know we have each other's back. We don't we don't want anybody to get hurt, and I definitely don't think it was intentional. Right. You know the girl was just, the, the other player was just playing basketball, and it just it just so happened. But we don't want our teammates to get hurt. And you know, at the end of the day, we're going to have each other's back because we are a family. We're all sisters, and we all, you know, we look to, to protect each other. Ashley talked. Uh, Ashley Wanaker talked mm -hmm. a little bit about getting along and, and that. What, what do you see as as being the key to this team being successful this year? No, chemistry is key. We have fun on the court. Like I said, like I just said, we have each other's back. You know, at the end of the day, we make it fun. No matter what, you're always going to have adversity. Basketball is a game of runs, ups and downs, and it's it's all about staying together through those through those um, through those rough times. But that that's that's the key for anything: staying together, being a family on and off the court. You are obviously uh, uh, absent of uh, Patchco, mm -hmm. which puts a little bit more on you and and, and Nikisha Crouch. You know, uh, how did that affect you? Because I still went with the last minute things. So. You know, before the game, I talked to Jess and I told her, you know, we're going to get it done for you. We're going to get it done for. Um, for you and you know just just step up a little bit more and do a little bit extra whether it's minutes or scoring or rebound whatever it is that we have to do but at the end of the day if that's another part of me facing adversity you know one of our teammates is missing one of our teammates goes down we have to be able to pick them up and last what what is like your own personal goal you know this is obviously you know you, you're closing your seasons out what, what do you see as a, a personal goal for you you know i just i just want to go out on top i think like anybody wants to go out you know Winning, a, winning, winning, some, winning some championships. I want to get that ring my senior year and willing to do whatever it is that we have to do to get that. Um, whatever it is my individual role is, game by game, but I think most importantly just being a leader vocally and leading by example. Um, and, you know, that's just what I want to do. It, it's, all about the, it's all about the team and, and our team goals this year. And just like anybody else out there, you want to win championships. So that's what my individual goal is. Too. What do you think of some of the pluses uh, of a team like that? <laughs> to be honest with you, to have a team that gets along and plays well together, is that's all you need. I mean, if you can play hard and you have the depth that we have, we're going to be awesome. Okay, okay. Uh, what did you see? This was a pretty much kind of an evenly matched, and when you best look mm -hmm. at it statistically, what did, what did you guys get out of this game? At, because you got a short turnaround with Michigan coming up. We definitely found things that we can work on, like fixable things, definitely. Um, like the fouls, our defense, just minor details that we can fix. and. If we do that, we're going to be great. One of your one of your uh, leaders in uh, Patco was obviously not here tonight uh, today. But you know what made you other guys seem to step up? Everybody mean balance scoring, you know. Jess, Jess is a great player, and to have her not here today was kind of like eye opening for us. And we needed to step up for her, and we needed to communicate well together and continue as a team. And and Matt, what do you see as your role? Obviously, the shooting is one of them. But what is some of the other roles that you? I definitely need to work on my vocal leadership. Um, leading by example isn't good enough anymore. I mean, I'm an I'm an older <laughs> junior now. I'm an older player, and I need to start working on that. And I think that's something that will really carry in forward. Any thoughts for a, a, a quick turnaround with Michigan? I mean, you know, you have one day to prepare, basically. Get our rest. <laughs> Get our rest right now, and hopefully Pashko will be back with us, and we're going to be 